Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. A couple of weeks ago, I was asked a question. If you were wanted to know how to create double greeting cards on eight and a half by 11 paper or letter size paper. Of course, I suggested that he or she use pre-scored greeting card type stock that you can get from various paper sellers, but the person insisted to use letter size common photo paper. Of course, the disadvantages of that is that they do not come pre-scored and you'll have to come up with a method of slitting the resulting double greeting card image that you print down the middle and then somehow scoring it or folding it so that you're able to fold it perfectly even. But what I have here basically is just a simple template. I made a document eight and a half by 11 and inserted some guides. I have a middle guide, vertical, a middle guide, horizontal, and then some quarter inch guides to create some built-in borders. Then I clicked on my shape rectangle tool and I created a couple of shapes. The magic about the shape is that you are able to load images and you're able to so-called clip them. So as you can see, if I just load this image over that shape, it just basically covers it. I want it to be behind. I want it to be behind that magical window. So what to do? You come over to your layers palette and we're going to click on the upper rectangle two, which includes that upper shape. I'm going to bring the photograph right on top of that particular shape. I'm going to click on the alt key. And as you can see, if I hover between the two layers, I get this little weird downward arrow with a little square click. Now you have clipped it. You see now the image is literally sitting in that magical little hole or window. You can move it around, you can resize it, whatever you want to do. And there you go, one image ready to go. We'll do the next one, we'll drag it over. And as you can see, it also is basically sitting right on top of the document we want it to be behind that shape. So as you can see right here, this is the shape on the lower left and my photo is right on top of it. So I will click on Alt and clip it. And at this point, I can simply move the image around until I get a pleasing composition and I am good to go. Hit enter and this can now be printed. I can load multiple images stacked on top of each other. And then all I have to do is simply click on the eyeball to activate them or deactivate them. And then I go ahead and print it. Then I go ahead and trim it and then somehow figure out a way to fold them. Again, the best method is to simply use a pre-scored greeting card or note card type photo paper. It is made specifically for this purpose. But this is one way to allow you to print on regular letter size, say Pro Luster from Canon stock or Epson watercolor matte paper, whatever. You can just use a template that you create in Photoshop rather easily and then you'll be able to produce pairs of cards on a single sheet of paper. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please ask them below and I will try to answer as soon as I can. Thank you so much. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.